What's up, 925 Gamers? Welcome to today's video. Uh, really quickly, before I hop into the video, I want to quickly uh, give you guys a quick link here. And uh, basically, what I want to talk about is uh, a video that's coming out later today. It's going to talk about the top five tips to improve overnight for Madden 15. And uh, that video should already be available to you guys on my blog page. If you guys are not following me on my blog, uh, my link will be in the description below. You want to start doing that because uh, that will keep you up to date with everything. I'm going to try to have a lot more blog content as well, uh, talking about Madden 25, talking about uh, what to expect and different things like that. So uh, a little bit more of an organized way to interact with me could be on my blog. So uh, definitely want to check that out and make sure you hit that link in the description and go over there, check out the blog. I got it all updated and it should be pretty interesting for you guys to check that out. Um, but with that little uh, quick thing that I wanted to talk about today there, uh, we're going to be talking today about how we like to beat uh, zone defense in Madden 25 from the New York Giants playbook. And the play the formation that we like to use to beat zone coverage is the shotgun uh, trips tight end. And so the play that we want to be focusing on uh, as far as what we specifically are going to be talking about today is the play um, X spot. And you can also use the play PA slot corner. Like, uh, a lot of different things you can do here, but I like to play X spot uh, because of the combination of different routes that we get on that play. Uh, you can run this play in combination with PA slot corner. As you see, that's also in the playbook. And so what is the difference between these two plays? It's basically just different routes. So you get a post route to the tight end on the X spot. And if you go to the PA slot corner, you see you get a corner route. Um, so different things you can do with that, but for today's video, I just want to talk about the left side of the screen. So uh, typically here, what we're going to get is we're going to top, talk about a couple of different combinations of zones that your opponent can uh, run against you. So one of those zones is the cover two or cover two sink. And what we want to do uh, to beat this is we want to take uh, Kenny Stills here and we want to place him on a deep streak route, uh, just a deep streak. And then we're going to take Jimmy Graham, we're going to put him on an in route, just standard in route. Uh, you could put him on a smart routed in route, but uh, I like to just do a regular five yard in route. And then I'm going to take Darren Sproles and I'm going to put him on a uh, wheel, or, uh, excuse me, a streak. And so you see how this uh, progression is going to be set up. And so the first read on this play, especially in a cover two scenario, is this route to the tight end. That quick little in route that he's going to get off that jam real quick and, and, and just get um, in a really nice position uh, for, for our offense. Okay, um, our next read on that play, on the same play here, so we're going to look at this again against cover two, sink and cover two, is this route to Lance Moore. And here you're going to see against cover two, sink, you can pass lead that up and you can kind of fit it into a nice little window. Um, it does not work quite as well against cover three, um, but it is a pretty effective route. And I at least wanted to give you guys the opportunity to see the pass lead up uh, trick that a lot of people are using this year to take their game to the next level with those corner routes. Um, and then our next read here against cover two is going to be this route to Marquise Colson. When it sits underneath, it sits in a very vulnerable position. It's going to create that triangle passing concept we talked about uh, a long time ago, and I'm going to be doing a video on it soon, uh, kind of explain it a little bit more than I did back when I first learned about it. But um, it's really effective because with the streak to Kenny Stills is what really drives this play home. Um, another thing you can do, as you just saw, I just motioned over Darren Sproles. You can put Darren Sproles on an in route, or excuse me, on a streak route, motion him over, and so he can serve the purpose of Kenny Stills. And so then you you now have another route that you can put Kenny Stills on. So you can put Kenny Stills on an in route, and then run like a little uh, levels concept, basically. And you can do a lot of stuff like that, but that's that's kind of going the extra mile, and, and that kind of gets uh, again it's something else to talk about for another time. But just wanted to quickly uh, show you that. Um, as far as our next read here, uh, we only have two more to go. Kenny Stills here, you see against the cover two, is not really a route that we're going to throw because oftentimes in the cover two, uh, that is where the weakness, or that's where the strength of the cover two is, is that deep middle of the field because that middle linebacker is going to drop to the deep middle. So, again, cover two sink. This Robinson care, uh, player here is going to drop to the deep middle, Patrick Robinson. And so what's going to happen is... He, that's why Jimmy Graham's route is open because Robinson's dropping to the deep to, to cover the streak and we can hit Jimmy Graham. But say, for example, they get a little greedy and so they're going to, uh, just to mimic this, will man Robinson up on Jimmy Graham. And it won't be this quite obviously, uh, it won't be this obvious, but 
the same. It's just a basic concept, and you see how if they choose to go after Jimmy Graham, we can hit Kenny Stills in the seams. Um, and then the final progression here against cover two defense, and, and again, I like to motion snap Kenny Stills, but um, the final progression is this pass lead inside streak to Darren Sproles. And uh, that's pretty much what we like to do here. Now let's show this really quickly, uh, very quickly against man. There's really only a very few routes to, that I like against man on this, but again, that's why it's our zone beater. Um, but anyway, what I like to get a man is obviously the corner route does a good job passing like, down to the outside. Um, the in route does a fairly decent job, if I remember correctly, at beating man-to-man -man defense, as we'll see it here, beat man-to-man -man coverage. The route to Darren Sproles uh, does decent. Uh, you want to pass it down to the inside, but you have to click on, and it is a little bit difficult to make that catch. Um, and then the only other route that I would recommend you trying against man coverage is this user catch deep downfield to Kenny Stills, click on, go up and try to make a big play. Um, and then obviously you have this route to Colston is unbumpable, so that's just something that you can kind of mess around with. But anyway, uh, but back to zone. Uh, so we've talked about the cover two and cover two sync. Let's talk about the cover three now. Uh, so again, it's the same progression. Everything's the same. Um, first read is going to be Jimmy Graham, and you'll see here uh, he's going to get covered a little bit better. As you see, they kind of stick to him a little bit better, and that's a quick note on uh, offense that that is going to be a cover three zone. Almost every time they're going to stick to it a little bit better. And so what's going to be open in behind that is this route to Darren Sproles. He's going to kind of come up in the middle here and get up field uh, against the cover three. So let's show you that one more time. And uh, let's see, motion snap. Send it in like this, and you see that Darren Sproul's route um, kind of over exaggerated the point there, but just trying to show you that those streak routes are going to be a lot more effective uh, against cover three than they are against cover two. So here's Kenny Stills against cover three. You see pass lead inside, click on, like catch, uh, just like Madden 13, uh, but not quite as effective. But you see, we do get that consistency in, as far as yardage. Uh, this route to uh, the corner route's not going to be very effective, and the spot route's not going to be very effective against cover three. I'll be straight up. And um, that's why, again, you want to go through your progressions. You want to, you, you know, against cover two, the spot route and the corner route are fairly decent. But against cover three, you see that's a different ball game. They're not quite as open the same, but the streaks are a little bit better. So that's the strengths and weaknesses of the zones, and uh, that's, what, that's why you have to know the strengths and weaknesses of every zone. Uh, against cover four, uh, typically against cover four, this route to Jimmy Graham is going to be covered a little bit tighter again as well. Um, but uh, the next read, which is the corner route, passing down the outside, still can kind of squeeze it in. But there is a guy over there, so he's not exactly the guy that's most open in that scenario. Um, what about the spot route against cover four? The spot route does a really nice job against cover four. As you see, it sits down in the hole and uh, just kind of gets us a quick five, eight yards there. Um, consistent game. And then this route to Kenny Stills over the top here. The streak does a very good job against cover four. He's going to click on, make a user catch. Because that yellow zone in the cover four always attacks Jimmy Graham, uh, we can now rely on those streaks. And that's why I have them in my zone beater. Uh, and then let's take a look here real quickly at Darren Sproles. Pass it down to the inside. And you see click on, make a user catch. So that is the progressions against zone coverage. If I went too fast or you didn't understand what I was trying to uh, articulate or maybe have a little bit further discussion you want to engage in uh, please hit me up in the comments below I'd be glad to clear up anything that uh, wasn't made clear in the video and then also guys really quickly I know you guys have been on me about gameplay 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 and I am trying uh, that is coming as soon as I can get the computer to record gameplay it will be up uh, but for right now all I all I can do is practice mode for whatever reason um, my audio cuts out when I record gameplay so there will be gameplay up soon uh, and I'm hoping to get one up for this scheme of the week because my my goal is to have one game up a week so uh, hopefully that happens but until it does uh just be patient with me and uh we'll see you guys tomorrow but thanks for watching and make sure you go check out that blog post uh because that's uh that's a pretty good blog post it's probably gonna be one of my better blog posts and uh, i'm gonna try to see if i can get some other guys uh to post it for me but uh, anyways guys go check out that blog post because it is one of the better ones that i will probably ever do so thanks for your time today and uh, we'll see you later